Hello again everybody. I wanted to share a couple things. The latest thing I'm working on, as you can see, I've mocked up some of the controls that I'm um, getting ready to work on the piping some more. And I wanted to get everything loosely in place and play with some of the arrangements of some of the valves and things before I made any firm, you know, made, made the actual parts and connections. One thing I realized, Fred came over this past weekend and we were talking about how some of these things should be placed. And this most forward opening on the top of the boiler is where I had planned to attach the, Amer this is an American Model Engineering pressure gauge. This is the nice deluxe one that they sell. And what I didn't realize when I first bought it, I had made a little adapter that screwed in here uh, let's see similar to this one but it had a flat top on it and it screwed into that hole with a pipe thread and it's a quarter inch pipe so I thought well what I would do is fasten the this part directly to it and then just bend this up bend the copper up what I didn't know was that it's very important I knew it was important to have a coil in between the gauge and the actual steam from the locomotive. What I didn't realize was that it also mattered to have the orientation just like this. So what I, what you see here, this is a piece of <clears throat> excuse me half inch brass that I turned in the lathe last night. I turned a little taper on the end of it and threaded it for the quarter inch pipe thread. And I also made some decorative turnings, just rounded it off a little bit. The plan is to cut it off right about where my fingernail is here, and then I'll drill a hole where I can silver solder this, where my pinky is, if you can see that, this uh, little bushing from the back of the, uh, the gauge fitting. So I'll silver solder that little bushing into it, and then I can screw it in. It's kind of like, a, this is a banjo fitting that the, that the gauge is actually connected to. And the idea is right about there. It's hard to hard to see that this way. There we go. So it'll solder in right about there, and it'll just the gauge will just be below the top of the roof when it's lowered, and it'll be right in a position where if the roof is lowered, I ought to be able to see the gauge. I can bend the copper slightly so that the gauge is visible through through the roof. Hopefully, that's the idea. So tonight, I just wanted to shoot this little video and upload it. That's what I'm working on now. The next thing will be, I wanted to I test fit it there, as you can see, and I marked which is the side when it's fully cranked in, which is the side that will be the flat that'll be closest to where the bushing needs to be. So tonight I'll take this out and then counterbore a hole that that bushing can go into and put it back in the lathe and cut it off right at that spot probably use a 5C collet block in the mill in order to hold it in place. So that's a little update on that and there's a lot of other details that Fred covered with me about the placement of the objects. This, sorry about that, using my daughter's cell phone to film this. This was the one that this will be a connection for a, a valve that will just uh, provide piping towards the top of the sight gauge which is right there. So it will be a short connection around to that. And we talked about some ideas for me to connect the blower line here up to the blower control valve, which is right here. It's hard to do all this with a cell phone, but this is the loco parts um, valve that I bought. I was gonna use that to control the valve, the uh, blower line. And this is the valve, the PM research one that I made I was going to use that to provide steam supply to the steam brakes, which are right here. All right, so that's tonight's update. It's getting interesting now and fun, as always, and I will hope that's helpful, and I will keep you all posted.